What's more important, the fact that Martin Luther King is the man that fought for freedom or the fact that he was cheating on his wife? Welcome back to the Lockout Men Podcast Show. What's going on, everybody? We're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. But before we do, I want you to hit that subscribe, like, and thank you button to show support for this channel. Let's do it. Yo, y'all y'all see this, right? Y'all see this babble, this mumble jumbo, this bibbity boop bullshit? Oh, man, let me tell you, this hit, this hit, this hit hard for me okay so first thing first i want to i want to shout out the late great martin luther king i have a dream <laughs> my poor little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin but by the content of their character i have a dream <laughs> the man did so much for civil rights it 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 was it was it it behooves me that they even use this man as an example they could have used any of these modern dudes out here but yet they go and pull at the strings of millions by using this great late great man right here dr martin luther king jr the man that stood tall for civil rights the man that took a bullet hold on good evening the reverend dr martin luther king 39 years old and a nobel peace prize winner and the leader of the nonviolent civil rights movement in the united states was assassinated in memphis tonight a sniper's bullet cut down Dr. King as he stood on a hotel balcony in Memphis. For civil rights. Let's go, black women. These two right here. Hold on. What's more important, the fact that Martin Luther King is the man that fought for freedom or the fact that he was cheating on his wife? Jesus. I'm going to give you this example. He's a great father. He's a great businessman. He's a great CEO. He's an entrepreneur. He's such a boss. He's a boss. Look at that man. He's a boss. Look he's at a, him. He's a great father. Look at him. That strong black man. He's Look a, at him being at a Look his at kid's him. game. But you're cheating on your wife. You're not a good husband. But he's great in all these other aspects. How are you a great leader? A great CEO? A great black man? You're not. You're not great. You're, not, <laughs> you're, you're not great. God. Jeez, you're bad. not. That is triggering. Yeah, for oh, sure. Well, I'm a good dad. You're not a good dad because you don't respect me. How the fuck you showing these kids you a good father and you don't respect their mother? You're not a great dad, my nigga. You're an okay human. Someone being a good person to you means they're a good person to you. Someone being a good person to everyone means that they're a good person. How dare you use that man as an example into your, your, your bimble babble right now, man? How is that possible? And we wasn't, and how, it's not even proven that this man even cheated on his wife. But in any case, if he did, that was either here nor there because he was a great man to his children. Let's bring that forward, shall we? I'm not great. Lockout men is not great. Lockout men is not even perfect. Yes. Yes. I cheated on my wife. I have cheated on my wife. Was I was a perfect husband? No. I was not that. Was not a perfect husband. Husband. What did I say? Husband? Husband. I was not a perfect husband. Okay. Let me just get that out there. 
I, 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 I did, you know, what I, what I did was hurtful. Okay. And for that matter, for that matter, we got separated. All right. So where did I leave my kid? What I tell you, just because I wasn't a perfect husband, I was a great father. You're not, you're not great. You're, not, you're, you're a liar. not great. God, you're bad. not. That is triggering. Yeah, for oh, sure. Well, I'm a good dad. You're not a good dad because you don't respect me. How the fuck you showing these kids you a good father or you don't respect their mother? You're not a great dad. My Still is a great father. My son did not want for nothing. Period. Whenever that kid needed something, I was there. There was times that I had to make sacrifice to make sure that my son was taken well care of. You're not a great dad. My was I a perfect was I a perfect husband? No, I was not a perfect husband, especially at the tail end of my marriage. How the fuck you showing these kids you a good father or you don't respect their mother? You're not a great dad. But was I was a great father? Hell yes. Am I a great father today? Hell yes. I stand 10 toes down when it comes to my kid. You're not a great dad. No doubt about that. My kid established in 1996. You turned that 1996 upside down, it was 1969. That's when his father was born. You're not a great dad. Umpteen years later, I have the greatest gift that was ever given to me by this man called God. By the most beautiful woman that I can that I can lay eyes on. Now, was I was I a perfect husband? No, I wasn't. I wasn't a perfect husband. But just because I cheated on my wife does not mean that I was not a great father. What you talking about? You're not a good dad because you don't respect me. How the fuck you showing these kids you a good father and you don't respect their mother? You're not a great dad. What you sitting here talking about, gap two sister? You're not a great dad. You mean to tell me just because I disrespected his mother that I wasn't a great father? You're not a great dad. You can't be sitting there talking that bullshit right now. You're not a great dad. You can't be. You're not a great dad. You can't be just because you met some you you came across some dudes that didn't show you the respect nor showed your kid respect. You can't turn around and put that on all men. The great father. Look at him. That strong black man. He look at him being at a look his at kid's him. game. But you're cheating on your wife. You're not a good husband, but he's great in all these other aspects. How are you a great leader? A great CEO, a great black man. You're not, you're not great. You're, not, you're, <laughs> you're not great. God, you're bad. not. That is triggering. Yeah, for oh, sure. Well, I'm a good dad. You're not a good dad because you don't respect me. How the fuck you showing these kids you a good father or you don't respect their mother? You're not a great dad. I'm a great father. I'm a 100% father. Still that father to this day, the bond between me and my son never breaks. Never bends, never waver. He can look up to me and say, yo, dad, I need some help. Can you do it? Yo, I'm out here right now doing it for you, bruh. I'm still doing it for you. So don't never come on here talking about just because I disrespected his mother. You're not, you're not great. You're not, you're, <laughs> you're liar. not great. God, Jeez, you're not. Bad. That is triggering. Yeah. And let's even talk about that. I mean, it wasn't, I, look, I know I did wrong. 
I did wrong. That's that's wrong between me and her. That has nothing to do with my kid. But you're cheating on your wife. You're not a good husband. But let's get that straight. Let's get that 100 percent straight. My kid. I love that man to death. He's a grown man now, and I love him to death. That's my heart, my soul, my rock right there. And you had the audacity to come on and say that I'm not great because I disrespected his mother. But you're cheating on your wife. You're not a good husband. But That was my bad for disrespecting his mother. And I think I apologize for disrespecting his mother. And I think I'm going, I, I think I'm going through it for disrespecting his mother. Well, I'm a good dad. You're not a good dad because you don't respect me. How the fuck you showing these kids you a good father or you don't respect their mother? You're not a great dad. But that has nothing, nothing at all to do with me being a great dad to my son. Well, fuck out of here with that bullshit. I'm done. I'm like Beethoven with the bass on it. Me, class kids, went pop. Death to the hater won't stop. Let's talk key scales, it won't drop. You don't even need a scale to know I'm on top. Me and Mozart, the bars, you got pops. Urge right to Tiffany, a whole symphony. You a symptom, me, but go off. I'll make a masterpiece for you, or at least it's gonna hit like rump, bump, bump. Y'all fit to me like the symphony. Your career's done, done, done.